today is a good day. I woke up, I had no pain. Um, I'm celebrating inside secretly because I have only had one bowel movement a day for the last three days with no blood. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, I decided today's gonna be a little bit more productive than most of my days, which just include watching TV and lying around and just trying to eat. So I was thinking last night maybe I should just start making some videos because I've had so many questions um, since being diagnosed and uh, every kind of question that you get from the get-go. I kind of just want to be able to answer for you guys and I think it be kind of beneficial for people to just hear my story and go from there so yeah um hi my name's Effie uh, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis two months ago a week prior to that um, I was just getting some really severe stomach pains maybe three times a day and uh, it would last for maybe a minute I would just have to run to the bathroom and it would be like the most foul smelling diarrhea I've ever had in my life <laughs> until the end of the week where um, it was happening like maybe every hour and so unbearable I went to the emergency room and they were telling me that it's some kind of infection I picked up when I went to BC a month ago my boyfriend and I were hiking and we found this like stream of water that would be like the freshest water because it's like being filtered from the mountains and um, <laughs> he started drinking it and I was just like I don't trust this uh, so I like pretended to drink it a little bit <laughs> so I was not convinced that was it but the doctors were there and so they just sent me home with like a stool sample thingy to do and uh, I started losing blood after that so I went to my family doctor and she was like a lot more concerned than all the people at the hospital and she booked a colonoscopy for me that day um, and they told me about this prep that I had to do so you have to drink this laxative and like just to clear out your system and we were just like there's no way I can do this at home like I'm probably going to die if I do this at home I can hardly like stand up now and like take care of myself so they suggested to do it at the emergency and the hospital again um so i went back to emergency um and they hooked me up to an iv and i had um some saline going so i was kind of hydrated and stuff you can see in this video at the end here this is the bottle of the laxative that i had to drink and those are my uh the saline bags that were hooked up to me just for hydration and my lunch every day was jello and juice yummy yummy but anyways the next day I did the colonoscopy and uh, right away they said you have ulcerative colitis so this is the pamphlet they gave my dad um, after the colonoscopy and it basically just said um, there is no cause for this there is no cure for this um, but so many people have it and we don't know why and we were just like what is this um, and they like w didn't even talk to me for a couple of days after I was admitted to the hospital and basically I was just on um, this steroid they gave me called prednisone they put me on 40 milligrams and said we're gonna taper down um, five milligrams a week until uh, it's better so the steroid um, reduces the inflammation in the colon so, and basically um, fixes it so people bringing me flowers to the hospital this is Chris my boyfriend he we were playing hangman and he his word was beer and pizza once my first meal came after I was off the liquid di liquid only diet, I like cried. <laughs> I was so happy. I ate with Chris there. Here's my room. Um, I guess I was going about 25 times a day and by the end of the week I was at like 
10 times a day, but it was still like really loose and really bloody because they saw some improvement. They were like, okay, you can go home and um, just keep improving from home. Look how relevant this Snapchat is. <laughs> yep. Yep. I was in isolation because of my loose stools and they thought maybe I had C. diff. So everyone had to wear these gowns and gloves every time they came in and out of the room. Super fancy. So I was home for a couple days after that and I was still losing blood and I just felt really shitty. So I went back to the family doctor and she was like, yeah, you're not really getting any better at home. Like you should be taken care of at the hospital. And so we went back. Your, your hemoglobin is supposed to be between 120 and 140 for like an average adult and mine was 64 um, and they said if it's anything under 70 they do a blood transfusion and at first that was so scary like I cried it was so scary um, but I needed it so I did it and um, I got two units of blood the first unit went fine um, but the second unit I got like really feverish and um, I was like shaking and it was like the scariest time ever. Like I started telling my mom, I was like, mom, I love you. If I die, like, where is Chris? Where's my boyfriend? Tell him I love him. Like, oh, it was so scary. We talked about um, how the prednisone just by itself wasn't working. So um, we started on this drug called Remicade. The rest of my time in the hospital, I was put on a liquid only diet and um, a TPN, which is uh, just food through IV. So it just has more nutrients and um, proteins and fats that you need just to give my gut more of a break. Um, and then after that, he put me on a no fiber and low residue and no dairy diet. After that, I was released again. Um, and uh, I had started to feel better. Um, I'll show you some more pictures. I went to get another Remicade infusion. Um, there's a clinic in Oakville here that I can go to so I don't have to go to the hospital, which is nice. And um, the Remicade infusions happen at zero, two, four, and eight weeks, and then every eight weeks after that. When I saw my doctor, he decided that um, because my iron levels are low, it's harder for me to produce blood. So in order to not keep getting blood transfusions, I should get some iron infusions um, to help produce those red blood cells. He scheduled me for three iron infusions. The first one I got done here at the old hospital. Um, and then the next day, you just you feel so good because like you get some more energy. You have a little more hope the next day, I guess. Um, I started going out again. I went to play pool and stuff. Um, my second iron infusion was at the new hospital after they relocated, and it's just so nice. Here's a video of me just getting my infusion done and working, feeling okay. Still not 100%, but you know, the. <laughs> The chairs um, are, are heated. <laughs> it's like so over the top and fancy. It doesn't need to be. I started to think that maybe that the prednisone was tapering off too fast. Once I got down to 25 or in 20 milligrams a week, like blood started to come back and I wasn't feeling the best. So I wanted to see my doctor. He was like, it's just gonna take time like if it, you're, you're gonna go up and down I was like okay well I'll just wait for my next iron infusion maybe I'll feel better after that so I ended up going to my iron infusion feeling really shitty and the nurses saw me and they're like you look way worse than last week um, I don't think the iron's gonna do it for you I think maybe you need um, another blood transfusion so they sent me down to emergency and they checked my levels and well you know it was in the 60s again and so they gave me another unit of blood and my iron and then they just let me go and I was like okay well whatever 
it's Christmas Eve and I don't really want to be here anyway so I didn't really fight it um, but the next day I just felt so shitty like I don't care if it's Christmas I don't want to die so I went back to the hospital and um, they checked my levels again and like still in the 60s they decided to give me uh, three units of blood and admit me to the hospital finally so for a week after that I was in the hospital um, my GI decided he wanted to go back in and see like if there is any infection in the colon or to see what kind of improvement there's been and said we're gonna do a sigmoidoscopy and I was like what's that and he's like you just kind of you just go up a little bit you don't go through the entire colon and I was like oh, okay cool so like are you gonna put me out and he's like um not if you don't want to so I was like mm, I guess not it's like only gonna take like a couple minutes it's gonna go in and out and like check it out he's like sure that's fine so um I didn't have to do the full prep I just did an enema and then the next day he just like lubed it up and stuck it in and <laughs> like showed me on the screen everything that was happening um it was kind of cool kind of uncomfortable <laughs> but it only took a couple minutes so it was kind of cool to see um so yeah he said there's not much improvement i think we need to put you on another drug so he put me on this drug called imuran and um we'll see that one he said it takes four to six weeks to kick in so right now um i think just the high dosage of prednisone and my third dose of remicade just the combination of everything is making me feel good right now so um yep yeah. so i stayed in the hospital a couple days after that that's my sister really excited to be in isolation attire don't know why <laughs> um my days kind of just like we're sitting around eating my dad massaging my feet <laughs> and this is me leaving the hospital milking it so yeah that's it for now I guess that was kind of all over the place um <laughs> I kind of winged it but I swear my next videos will be a little more concise and to the point and prepared <laughs> so subscribe and um, look out for my next videos um, I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching